We will. And we may have some flying around the room, hitting the ceiling. That's okay. Oops, there's one. Hey everybody, Dr. Nicole Friels here. I am back with another case for you. This gentleman is a diabetic and it's been a few years since his nails were trimmed. So I wanted to kind of show you because things that are concerning um, and make, you know, as a diabetic at risk issues, the nails are kind of digging in. You want to maybe come this way? You can see it's digging into the skin on the bottom and of concern that it's going to pierce. It's almost like an ingrown toenail down below. So this can create an infection. So essentially, we're going to be able to remove a significant portion of the nail itself comfortably um, and get you, you know, kind of get everything cleaned up. A couple of things we already talked about. At home, we're going to start doing some foot soaks. There is a really great, um, it's basically a compound pharmacy that we use. It's out of Corbin. Um, what they're going to do is send you a foot bath, and then all you have to do is put water in it, and it's going to have a bunch of different medications in there for athlete's foot, for hydration, for you know basically protection antibacterial so if there's ever any kind of um, bacteria in the area that would help like almost like a protective layer so it's something we'll use and be real careful as a diabetic make sure you test that water either you or you test the water with um, your wrist to make sure that it's not too hot because if you have any nerve damage then you know it'll be hard to discern if it's too hot or not so yeah we're gonna get really that um, <laughs> Are you ticklish? <laughs> Sorry. So that's gonna, the foot soak is going to, it has a nice agitator that's really gonna get in between the toes. And we already discussed, if you can see in here in this area, that's gonna really kind of get that debris out and then take a towel or a washcloth behind it and then really get in between there. Okay. All right, so let's start over here. I don't know why I always start on this foot to trim the nails. Okay, I don't know if you want to come this way. However, you, you can go that way if you want. All right, so the big thing where these have been grown out for so long, I don't want to get your skin. And it's kind of hard to tell, you know, it's almost like you're going in blind. <laughs> so we'll go real slow to make sure I don't nip you, okay? okay? I just need you to keep your foot right, just like that. Perfect, so we will. And we may have some flying around the room, hitting the ceiling. That's okay. Oops, there's one. Let's see if we can make it 10 for 10. Do you have any questions so far? Everything kind of making sense? So it'll just, the foot thing will just come in the mail, I'm assuming? Yep, you got it. They'll actually call you okay. and verify your um, address okay. and mail it to you. Okay. And we'll put lots of refills on there. So, uh, you know, you can continue to use it. Okay. Move this over just a little, there you go. It's really quite long. I'm really happy you haven't had, you know, a lot of pain with it. You're gonna feel like a million bucks getting out of here today. Um, also, do you have any burning, tingling, or numbness in your feet? No? Good deal. But we'll check for neuropathy just to make sure we don't have any nerve damage and you know sometimes we just don't know about it i know he does have three two or three blood clots in his like leg and stuff, so. okay and what are they treating that with the zerato okay we're going to take that step right now and then you know go from there gotcha you had mentioned that you're on the lamisil um, one of the things with that is of concern is with the circulation. I'm just not sure how much that medicine's going to help because um, it travels in the bloodstream. So, and it's quite harsh on the liver. So I don't know what the other thing's going on if you really wanna do that because I don't think it's gonna help a lot with the fungus just because of the poor blood flow. Okay, he's only took one pill. Left, oh, okay. So. Yeah, it was like once a week or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was like he has to take it for a very six months. Yeah. So. If I were you, I would just not worry about that medicine and then let us kind of 
take care of him every okay. nine weeks if that works for you. That's fine. Sorry. Move around me. Sorry, this one's got to need stronger muscles for this. You doing okay up there? Yeah. Not torturing you too bad? Uh-uh. Let's see if we can get this guy here now. One thing that would be helpful in between the visits, there's a nail gel that has urea acid in it that you can put on the toenails itself and that'll help make them softer. Okay. So when uh, he comes back next, we can get even more of this stuff. Okay. And what's really helpful, just buy it over the, counter the girls will bring it in for you. Okay. Um, what's really gonna be helpful is if you soak the feet right before you come in here, use the, uh, okay. that basin and that'll make it soft for us so we can really get at it. You're gonna be about five pounds lighter. <laughs> we'll have to weigh you on the way out. Okay, and we'll get that Dremel. So we do this part first, okay. and then get the Dremel, which is the power tools, okay. after. That's the fun part. Oh, but this foot's ticklish, but the other one isn't. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. Is it the same foot? Mine's the left foot that's too good. I can go get a pedicure done sit there and my right foot don't twitch or nothing. My left one will. <laughs> I don't like getting pedicures. I'm scared of them. That's why. <laughs> you know, I see too many uh, scary things. Yeah. But, you know, there are great places. I uh, went around town and found a couple places that were clean. and So they're out there. You just got to ask yeah. the right questions. If you're at home and you've had a bad experience with pedicure, I would love to know all about it because I see so many infections. Honestly, I see so many fungal infections. That's probably, everybody hears about the scary bacterial infections that get in the bloodstream, and but they don't, the, the ones that are more cosmetic is the fungus that's introduced. So I always look for places that autoclave their instruments as opposed to the cold sterile because you can know they're surgically sterile and they're changing their liners and not just using a cleaner because that fungus lives in the rings of where the water comes in because those aren't cleaned every time you okay you all right, Gary? Yeah. yeah these are just kind of crumbling and that's what happens they just get so thick and brittle and okay. one more so this guy there's not a lot of length to it we may be better off let me see if i can get under there at all what you want to do is try to find a little weak opening and just make sure you're not going too deep because uh we don't want any bleeding around here do we I'd never see you again. <laughs> That's the case. Okay, just trying anything to get a hold of it. It's almost like paring a rock. They just completely. So when they're softer, way easier. All right, let's get the Dremel. Here we need any Dremel. Okay. This may tickle. I'll try to hold your foot over here just nice and relaxed for me and if you're even at home you can take an emery board and kind of help file them down yourself if you got really thick ones another thing that we offer is um, diabetic shoes that goes through your insurance uh, annually. Have you had diabetic shoes before? No. Nope. No? Okay. Well, we'll get you set up with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we do is measure your feet and then we have a catalog of shoes that you can browse through and pick out whatever you want. We've got boots, tennis shoes, dress shoes. Even for ladies, they have high heel diabetic shoes now. Isn't that crazy?
get a little more juice on this guy. There we go. So we'll definitely get y'all cleaned up before we get you out of here, okay? I know you're seeing quite a bit of mess. We'll clean up our own mess. <laughs> This is the ticklish foot. <laughs> All of these are thicker. The other ones were just really long. Trick with the Dremels, you gotta go real slow. Stay away from the skin. We don't want any abrasions. Especially for somebody on Zerelto. Mm. And all this, maybe go home and soak the feet tonight and really just give them a good bath. Get in between the toes with a, a washcloth. We're gonna clean you up as much as we can, but maybe a good 10 minute, 15 minute soak and then do your own cleanup because got a lot of debris in the way here. Okay, more juice for the big toenail. Let me get this little back here. Oh, <laughs> careful. I'll hold you as much as I can. Feeling good. I'm almost done torturing you. Whoop. <laughs> Careful, your toe's stronger than my hand. I'm getting on this little part. That's, we may have to work a little more on that, that hump because every time I'm hitting it, that's when you're getting real ticklish. Maybe if I go fast, it won't be as bad. There we go, that's working. So be real careful, you gotta move it around pretty consistently because you don't want to burn. Okay, let's get you cleaned up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you have any questions about all your podiatric needs. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.